Hi there, I'm Johan Alberts and today I'd like to show you my DaVinci Mini 3D printer from XYZ Printing. As you can see it's busy doing its thing back there. So let's take a closer look and then I'll share some of my experiences with this amazing little machine. I'm a self-confessed nerd and I've always been interested in 3D printing but when I decided to finally take the plunge and get my own printer I still didn't have any hands-on experience so I did a lot of research and shopped around quite a bit um, price was definitely one of my considerations but I also wanted a printer with a decent sized print bed and of course quality I recall reading this one article um, where they tested five entry-level printers and the DaVinci Mini simply stood out in terms of value for money. The article also mentioned that it was the only printer that never misprinted during any of their tests. Um, so my mind was made up right there. And when I finally got the printer, setting it up was really easy. Um, I was up and running in probably 20 minutes, cranking out my very first 3D print. So let me show you some of the things I've made with my DaVinci Mini. Being a devoted Star Wars fan, I just had to do this uh, Yoda bust. This was printed on the lowest quality setting with a 0 0.3 uh, layer thickness. Um, as you can see, it's a bit rough around the edges there. Um, I also didn't do any finishing on this, so still a fairly decent print. This was the first model that I designed from scratch. Um, it's a little desk lamp with this hook attachment for my wife to store her uh, hair dryer at her dressing table. I also did this uh, My Little Pony um, for my niece's birthday. This was printed on the highest quality setting um, at a 0.2 millimeter uh, layer thickness and I did a fair amount of sanding on it. Um, gave it a couple of coats of paint and then added the hair. All these models were printed in PLA which I think is one of the few downsides of the DaVinci Mini. Um, it can only print PLA and you have to use the XYZ uh, proprietary filament. Each spool contains uh, this little microchip which allows the XYZ software to actually keep track of um, how much filament you're using and how much is um, left on the spool. On the upside though, uh, the DaVinci Mini has onboard memory so you can disconnect your computer once the print is going and you can con continue working on it. Um, it also auto calibrates the print bed and um, it has a fairly decent um, build volume for a printer at that price point. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this short little review um, and I can definitely recommend the DaVinci Mini if you are um, aiming to start up in 3D printing as a hobby and um, you know just want to start playing around with it and uh, get good value for money.